YNW Melly officially announces when he will be getting released from being locked up. If you are a YNW Melly fan, make sure you watch this video until the end because he could be getting released a lot sooner than you may think. Also, if you are a YNW Melly fan, make sure you leave a like on this video right now. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you would like to join our iPhone X giveaway. Now, we have finally got some new exclusive news about YNW Melly and his new court case, which is an announcement of when he will be getting released. YNW Melly is the main suspect in the takeout of YNW Sack Chaser and YNW Juvie, otherwise known as YNW Melly's best friends and or brothers, as he did state in a documentary he did on YouTube. Now, the law and the court believe that YNW Melly was in fact the one who took them out, due to the really good evidence that they have on YNW Melly, which I will even be showing you guys and discussing here later on in this video as well, so make sure you guys keep on watching because after hearing the evidence they have on YNW Melly, I actually am kind of curious to know if you think that he is guilty or not. We have some really good evidence that you'll find nowhere else, so make sure you guys keep on watching. Now with this whole court case, YNW Melly has been keeping a pretty open mind about it. There has been many times where he said that he is innocent and not even himself saying that he is, but a ton of other rappers in the game are claiming that YNW Melly is innocent as well. The most frequent one is Lil Pump who literally just said it just the other night on Instagram Live saying to free Melvin otherwise known as YNW Melly. I find that is pretty awesome to hear as well that he is getting some support from outside you know his little bubble so it is pretty cool to see. Now YNW Melly is a huge believer in God and he has said that he puts this case in God's hands and that God's watching over him practically every time he gets to talk to somebody. YNW Melly did state that he will be getting released within the next few weeks, or maybe even the month due to the fact that the law doesn't really have the best evidence to prove that he's guilty for this. And not only that, but the evidence that he believes that he will be getting released soon because he knows he is innocent from the quote unquote God knows as well. We will be showing you guys the evidence here in a second, so make sure you guys keep on watching this video. I'm actually curious to know, do you think he's guilty or innocent? Now, just as an example of one of the many instances of him saying that God believes in him and that he's innocent, look at take a look at the Instagram post that he made just a few days before he got locked up. Now, YNW Melly posted this to Instagram of this photo with this caption attached. And it says this, and I quote, To all my fans and supporters, no I did not get locked up in Washington, but I am turning myself in today. I want you guys to know that I love you and appreciate every single one of y'all. A couple months ago I lost my two brothers by violence and now the system wants to find justice. Unfortunately, a lot of rumors and lies are being said, but no worries, God is with me and my brother. And we want y'all to remember, it's YNW family, I love you, hashtag free us. Now that's just one of the many instances where YNW Melly has said that God is with him on this, and will continue to be with him on this whole journey for this court case, which isn't a bad thing at all. And believing in God and everything, I really hope YNW Melly isn't just saying that just to kind of like keep his fans calm or something like that. Because I kind of feel like if he knows that he is guilty, then he shouldn't be putting so much belief in God with helping him. Because, you know, we can't really help him if he knows he's guilty. The law will find him guilty one way or not. But that is honestly just kind of my opinion. I don't believe that you should be lying to God or anything like that, saying you are innocent and claiming it if you are guilty. But hey, nothing still has yet to be proven. I'm not saying that Melly is guilty or not, but I'm just saying if he knows he is, he shouldn't be doing that. Now, for the evidence for this, currently, it's actually still pretty convincing towards YNW Melly doing it, to be honest. I do want to believe that he is innocent just because I am a huge fan of his, but sadly, to me, in looking at the evidence, it just doesn't really look like it'll be that way. Make sure you guys keep on watching this video because you guys won't believe all of this evidence that the law actually has. Now, the first bit of, you know, kind of convincing evidence that YNW Melly 
is you know guilty is that the fact that he said that this was from a drive-by from another car well the police did their investigation and they checked all of the video cam footage on the stoplights which honestly in case you are unaware because i know a lot of people especially people who don't drive specifically know this the spot like the stoplights that you see at intersections and things like that you know with the green yellow and red well yeah there is actually cameras inside of those lights and that's actually how a lot of people do get caught for running red lights and stuff like that. If you run a red light and there's no, you know, police there, there will just be a bill and a picture of you sent to your house. But nonetheless, the police searched through all of the cameras and they actually didn't see any, you know, suspicious cars or anything like that drive near Melly's car and do what, you know, Melly said happened. So that right there is some pretty good evidence as well. Now, for the next bit of evidence, it was that the fact that there was a bullet casing found inside of YNW Melly's car. So basically, if you are unaware of the whole, you know, backstory is that YNW Bortland, YNW Melly's friend, was the one driving the car when the day happened. YNW Melly was then in the passenger seat right beside Bortland, and then YNW Juvie and Sack Chaser were both in the back seat. Now, it is said that they were literally just driving on a road, came to a stop, and that's when no one knows honestly what they were talking about, obviously, but that's when Melly just kind of turned around and then did it. And basically how a firearm works is when you fire one, there is the regular bullet that will go wherever, you know, you're pointing it. But then there's also a casing from it, which falls right where you fire it. So you've probably seen it in movies, you know, with the casing just flying out the back of the thing. And well, a casing was found in the car. So that means that the firearm must have been used inside of the car that they were in, where YNW Melly and Bortland were. And YNW Melly did claim that this happened through a drive-by. So typically when those things kind of happen, you know, the people that are doing it don't go inside of the car that they're targeting. So, I mean, there is like pretty much no logical reason of how this happened. I mean, it's pretty obvious because of this casing that was found inside of their car that it happened inside of the car. So it meaning whoever was inside of the car with them when it happened is most likely the person who did it. Now, that's honestly what is being talked about right now, but there is honestly some ways around that. I mean, Melly could just say it's been in there for quite some time. You know, if they don't match the casing with the one that was actually used. I mean, there is tons of ways to get around it, but honestly, what the how everyone is looking at it online at the moment, it's kind of seeming as nobody can find a way around it. So that does kind of make it seem as if YNW Melly did do it. Now, another thing that was mentioned in the court case, which usually during a drive-by, a lot of the times the front of the car is usually what's targeted the most, especially if there is a celebrity in the car, that's usually who is targeted the most. And... The fact that the two most, you know, famous people out of the four that were in the car, they were both in the front seat and didn't even get touched once, rather than the two people in the back seat who had the, their lives taken away, which was YNW Sack Chaser and YNW Juvie. It just does kind of seem a little bit fishy. I mean, it's usually the front of the car that is, you know, the main target. So it is just kind of weird how the front of the car didn't even get touched allegedly. It was always just the back seat during this whole incident. I don't really understand that, especially because apparently YNW Melly's car was just parked still. So if that is the case, then there is no really logical way that Melly being, you know, the most famous person in the group, I might remind you, plus he was probably wearing, you know, over $100,000 in jewelry, was not the main target and didn't even get touched. I mean, that's what a lot of people are saying. Like, you can look at any of the other famous ones that have ever happened. Like, the Tupac one as a good example. You know, Suge Knight was driving with Tupac that night, but not one person even targeted Suge Knight that whole time. It was always just on Tupac's side of the car. So, I'm not saying that this is, you know, all legit. I'm just saying this is what they were talking about. So, this is just kind of, you know, allegedly at the moment. Now, I am going to be ending the video here, however. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Anyways, it has been District Trending, and I'm out. Peace.